Okay, so this is the second part of the particle transfer. So you see uh, in the controller let's say if you have an issue with the the convergence of your problem then you can play with the full current number and the pressure and the momentum relaxation factors. So now go to the report definitions. So let's say we actually want to see some specific values. That's the section we can control of our simulation. Okay, so if you need any information, you see the report definition is something. Um, if you need any specific information, if you want to save it, especially for the transient calculations, there are a lot of things that you can save. If you go to this uh, new, you can see the surface report. So there are a lot of things like the area weighted average, the mass flow rate, the flow rate. So let's just click on mass flow rate. If you click on the mass flow rate, where actually you want to see. So if you um, select any surface here, you can report a plot or you can just create a report file. So in that way you can save it. So I'm just um, showing you there are a lot of ways if you want to see some DPM information like the discrete phase information. So you can say that um, injected click if you click injected mass. So then you need to select which injection. Maybe you have more than one injections. Then you can just create some report plot report file. If it is plot, then it will show you uh, in a, um, in this window what is the mass um, or whatever it is. You can do a lot of things from here. So this is some advanced thing maybe you need it for your future study or for your report now i'll go to the monitor so for the monitor let's say this is the residual um we usually check the convergence of this problem so you can see the continuity the x y z velocity and the k mega we're using the k mega model so point oh three this is actually the default so let's use at least uh 10 to the power four so yeah so yeah just you need to check make change this file so once you have done with this we want we want to see all of this information in the console and also the plot so make sure that you have checked these two sections uh click on okay so now um the initializations so um, i will use the hybrid initializations um, not a standard because the hybrid is, hybrid initialization is better actually for unstructured mesh. If your CAD model has some you know some bind or some complex domain, complex curvature, and then this hybrid initialization is actually good. So I'll click on initialize. So you see initialization is done because we have very less number of nodes. So the mesh size it is uh, not that big, so yeah, it's very quick. So if you want to check uh, your particle, so we have the particle. So if you want to check the particle transport, how the particle is moving, you can you can save some animation. So go to the calculation activities. You will see you will get this window here uh, actually. So you can click on the solution animations. If you click on the solution animation. Let's say um, we'll record after every time steps, and the storage is maybe in, in memory, uh, or you can you can select the other one like PPM image. Then you need to select actually, but let's say we're going to use in in memory, and then we can um, say some more other conditions. So click on edit objects. So if you click on edit objects, okay, so it's not coming. So let's say from the new objects, so this is the newer version. So click on new objects. We actually want to see the particle tracks. So click on particle tracks. Then maybe not particle, maybe particle distance time for this case. You don't track the diameter because this is uniform. So select these injections. We actually want to draw the mesh. Click on draw mesh. We need only the edges, not face. Select the outline. Click the display. So you can see it's showing the only the outline. And now we will select on click on track and display. 
your eye you usually want to see how the body is coming this way so i'll click on close i'll click on okay so it says it's limping for seven okay so let's um do that again um let me show actually how many particles we have here um so you can see if i just go up at the very beginning look this is the mesh informations so you can see we have 21,000 node. I'm telling again, this is not a good mesh. Um, we are using to save that because uh, if we use fine mesh, then it will take more time. So see 304 number of mixed bubbles the inlet we have in our inlet. So I told you we're using the inlet surface for the particle injections, and the number of particles will depend uh, on this number of cells. So here we have only 304 mixed velocity in late. And now if you see the first iterations, um, you can see the number tracked is 304. So it, which is exactly equal to that number. The escape is zero escape means it will go to the outlet. So no particle escaped, no particle trapped, um, incomplete at zero. So um, because we use the time step size. We increase that number so it's showing zero so now i believe that you you are clear about the injections so now let's check where is the particle exactly right now so if you go to the graphics and say particle tracks um say the particle variable and the particle residence time click on injections and click on display so then you can see this is actually the particle this is the particle for better um, view, select the draw mesh and click on this display, close it and display again. Then you can see the particle is here. If we rotate this model, you can see it was our inlet. Yeah, so this is our inlet, so injected particle from here. And after this iteration, the particle is now here. Right, so you can see it is actually every nodes infected the particle you can see this is a slower inflation layer and if you can remember i showed you the mesh at the very beginning so i'll close it now and i will complete i will run the remaining time steps so let's just calculate and use the same setting is and so click on ok so what i will do is um maybe i will just um let's say I, i'll just put this on bit up to see the console then we can see the console okay and then i will calculate again so click on calculate so okay um so when we will stop this simulation now the number of track particle is we're showing this is um 304 when we will see that this number of track particle is zero then we will stop the simulation you know what i mean the solution already converged the solution we have it already converged so we will stop the simulation when this number of track particle it should be zero this is window 3 um, it is uh, let's check what it is showing um, the one window it should show the particle movement uh, after 20 iterations so let's wait it should be very quick so if it is not here then maybe we can see it by using the other techniques so let's check the residual um so i will stop it now actually um okay let me run some more cases some more time steps so it's 304 time steps now 304 the number of trap particles is still 304 Okay, so we have done a um, couple of more time steps and now we will check the particle. Uh, actually, it takes a little bit time to escape through the, you know, the outlet. So let's click on the particle track, so it is. So the particle track and then select these injections. Click on save or display. Um, if you see XY, not XY plot, and draw mesh and click on the display click on ok so then you can see the all the power you see all the particles are actually here now 
can you see the particles um, positions and the other information so now <coughs> if you want then I'm definitely during the class I will show you how to obtain the other information so they light outlet or anything so I have done with this simulation now and then if you want to see some other informations like um, especially for if you want to see the particle path line so this is actually the path line what you can do is you can just select the the particle variables so maybe the time and from the inlight so you can click on pulse and then you can see how the particle is going so let me stop it and make it just this small yeah so what i will do is i will create i will just draw the draw the mesh especially the outline and then i will click on just i'll click on pulse so then you can see how this is actually the particle path line how it is separating and you can see the particle should go through this way so this is actually the case so definitely in the next video i'll show you some more techniques like how to do some nanoparticle modeling um how to consider the particle rotations how to consider the particle particle interactions and how to consider the non spherical particles and definitely then there should be another video for the particle post processing so that's all for today